guys, Andy here. I hope you enjoyed that time lapse. I hope you enjoyed it about as much as we did making it. By the way, this seed is incredible. I'm going to show you some behind the scenes of how we did this video, how we did the seven upgrades, and I think you'll learn a lot about how to build in the desert. We certainly have learned a ton of tips for building the desert. Yeah, this seed and the coordinates I'm going to give to my patrons. So if you're one of my patrons, you can look forward to a post where I show you where this is. For everyone else, it's a bit of a secret. There's two temples. Isn't that incredible? Actual two temples and an amazing village with nine towers. So let's go back and I'll show you exactly how I did this. So here we are. Here is the base village. Little farms, little libraries, nine towers, epic little market there and a market there with two wells as well. And I've just lifted it and we plonked it down here. Now the first thing we did this might not be something which is available for everyone to do. We decided to line everything up on the five by five building grid where everything is gonna be separated by three blocks. One, two, three. So that the corners are gonna be exactly as we need them on the grid, as you can see there, the five by five building system. So we shifted these a little bit. And if you wanted to do this for real, if I go back to the village, as you can see here, this is not quite on the five by five building grid. One, one, two, three, one, one, two, three, ah. So what you would do is you could make this building here one block smaller and it would fit onto the grid. But we thought that was pretty important to actually do that and it ended up making a really, really cool town where we're definitely building on the five by five building system so that you can see some of these buildings have been kind of squashed together to make them fit into uh, our system. So that was the first thing to do, put it onto our five by five building grid. Highly recommend that, lets you space things out, lets you join up walls and doors and line things up perfectly. Second thing we did, the second upgrade was to add walls. Now these are kind of inspired by Afghan or Iraqi, Iran compounds where people have kind of nice big walls. Um, uh, around their houses and that's all we did for this upgrade we did a few paths and some walls and we made the walls like three sorry four or five blocks tall and that's all we did simple as that and it looks pretty good already upgrade number three we added some structure so what do i mean by structure like this bridge going across we added that um this little kind of um overhang here we added things like that a more of a farm little storage places down here as well. Staircases, we added them, and we added um, little awnings and sunshades. Obviously, it's very, very warm in the desert, so we added lots of sunshades. As you can see, some of them are made of trapdoors with carpets on top, and some of them are made of simple campfires supported by spruce and obviously some sandstone walls as well. Also, we added in uh, parapets here. So to add in the parapets, we simply used, as you can see, smooth stone slabs. We also added in a few windows as well, like that. And these ones are pretty simple windows as well, just with six blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that makes for those type of windows. Another kind of window which I quite liked was kind of um, one that looked like this, where you can actually do that, two upside down stairs, and it makes that kind of double square effect. And you can also line them up like that one as well. We thought those were really, really cool. And then we had Rio Star invent this kind of little three by three tower sitting in the corner of a five by five shape. And uh, I thought that was absolutely fantastic. It just adds so much character and kind of height um, and just basic charisma to your village. So upgrade number four was uh, a simple upgrade, an oasis, an oasis. So we've got a nice deep oasis, three or four blocks deep, plenty of vegetation, a little kind of a natural spring, some big palm trees, um, and then a few extra little details. So very simple upgrade indeed. We also added in a few more of these balconies, which are really, really interesting and easy to make. If you've got a tower and you wanna add in one of these balconies, you just go one, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, three. You can either leave it like that or we just actually chopped that off and we put a full block there, there, and then smooth slabs here and here and just kind of wrap that round, right? And that was how we made our balcony and you, you would continue it over to there and you can continue it over 
in this direction as well. So that's how we made our uh, balconies. I'll get rid of that later on. So it ends up looking exactly like that. And we thought these are great things to add to the towers because the towers are very big and plain and vertical, but to kind of break up the shape of them, and um, we added that plus an oasis. So then we were on to upgrade number five. And for upgrade number five, that was all about the markets, all about these teeny tiny little markets in here. So we have uh, tips for this would be pistons, trap doors with carpet on top, um, wall blocks, lots of barrels obviously everywhere. Um, scaffolding piled up is very atmospheric as well. And then little places where you could have kind of almost a, like a, a bizarre feel, you know, like a desert, market bazaar crowded feel as well and this is our um well upgrade desert well so very simple using a grindstone with some chains hanging down going into the water looks kind of cool probably i should have made that a bit deeper move the water down maybe 10 blocks that would have looked pretty cool actually so that's a little improvement and horizontal chains look very very cool as well hanging up these lanterns as well so great building tip there another market over here uh, kind of along the similar lines, but we also went for kind of a, a, a carpet shop. Uh, we big shout out to Falcon Chief, one of the people who was watching on Twitch. He says, oh, you got to have a flying carpet shop. So here's our carpet shop. And a shout out to Shula, 18 Shula, who decorated it. It looks absolutely fantastic. So it, as you can see, our, our town, our village just incrementally got better and better and better. Upgrade number six was way over here. We had a couple of things to do, like a little mine or excavating pit. So as you can see here, we've got some campfires, we've got some orange stained glass, magma blocks, some acacia buttons, some coal in the corner, a little railway running through it as well. And with a little simple, simple crane, right? You couldn't get much more simple than that. We've got a very atmospheric little, um, something you could add to the side of a desert village. Uh, as well. Shout out to Ed Chin Yosh who did this really really cool little camp here with um, little travelers maybe visiting your village over to one side. That would be a good place to maybe have one of those uh, llama trades villager people you get, right? <laughs> I don't know what you call them. Traveling salesman? I don't know. So the last thing to do was uh, upgrade number seven. This was a fun stage. All we did was add in tons and tons of detail. So we had jungle leaves all over the place. We had banners. Ed Chinyosh designed this banner. Oh, I can show you all the builders' names as well. Thank you so much to all the builders. We built this live on Twitch. So do follow me on Twitch. I have a Twitch channel, twitch.tv forward slash Andy is Yoda. Every day at 4 p.m. UK time, we're building something. Rio Star, Snake Boy, Ed Chinyosh, J. Randy, Flame, Shula, Mr. McHugh, and Dragonskin. Thank you so much for all your help, guys. Very much appreciated. What other details did we put in? Yeah, you can put in bushes straight in between there and they look really really cool by the way i'm using steven's traditional resource pack with better leaves add-on here in um java edition minecraft lots of dead bushes and cactuses water butts we probably should have added more water butts i think that would have been definitely something to add in we could have had a water butt there for example could have had a water butt there definitely we missed missed a trick by not putting in enough water butts as well a few more palm trees, lots of bushes spreading across this awning as well. And some of them are actually trapdoors as well, which adds a lot of atmosphere as well. Lots of shaded areas, raised walkways, platforms and stairs help to build uh, a desert kingdom. I hope this has inspired you. It really has inspired me. I want to make a giant desert kingdom now. We've even got kind of washing lines hanging down with lanterns as well. The whole place just looks absolutely epic and atmospheric as well. I love all the nooks and crannies and the 5x5 building system. Ah, oh, what's up, King Mendley? One of my patrons there. Hi, and big shout out to him. One of my Skywalker patrons, in fact. Um, yeah, this 5x5 building system means every path is like three blocks wide. Every entrance is kind of like three blocks, three blocks. It just all ties together. I highly recommend uh, using the 5x5 building system. Very pleasing on the eye and it's easy to expand as well. But there we go. I'll be quiet. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you can uh, join my Patreon if you'd like to download this world or any of my other worlds or creations for the last three years. You can on patreon.com forward slash Andy Isura or become a YouTube channel member and you get to download everything from my Discord server. All the links in the down below. Take care for now. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.